So last week, I picked up this 2017 F-250 diesel. It's replacing an F-150 with a max tow package that I've been using the last couple of years to tow my fifth wheel. I had the standard rails in the old truck, and this truck comes with the OEM puck system that's built right into the bed. What I'm going to need to do in order to change this is pull off these original legs and put on the Kurt uh, puck system legs in the Ford. They're uh, part number 16017. And all we need to do is take off four bolts, two on this side, two on that side, and swap out the legs. In my case, the 6x6 six six was a great height just to get this hitch just a little bit off the ground so that my legs are floating a little bit to make it a bit easier to change. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is pull the head out. Just by pulling out that center pin. And getting that out of the way. The next thing I'm going to want to do is start pulling out these bolts and loosen them so you don't have to watch me fight them. They were in pretty tight. I don't know just yet if I'm going to need to adjust the height on them, so I'm going to put them back in where they were and see what happens. You don't want to tighten them all the way yet because you're going to need to place them in the puck system holes in the back of the truck and once you've got the positioning right then you're going to torque them up. My plan with this truck is to make a bunch of modifications but I think I would like to see done. I'll be changing out the back window for a slider. It's an XLT Premium, so it came with navigation and the power trailer tow mirrors and the heated seats and a couple of the nicer features that I like, but it does not have the automatic climate control that my 150 Platinum has, and I'm going to want to fix that. Other things, I noticed it doesn't have lit uh, sun visors. I'm going to want to change that, and I'm probably going to be looking at some shocks, comparing a couple of different ones, and also at some tires. The nice thing with the fifth wheel prep package is it comes with a 7 pin connector already in the box. And there's a great video I watched, which I'll put a link to, that uh, shows how the truck bed can be removed on a 2011 and up model and the OEM uh, fifth wheel harness or bracket can be installed underneath the body of the box. So these are just lightly in place for now and I'm going to hop up in there and get it in place and I'll be right back. Once you have your hitch basically in place, you're going to turn all, all four of these handles out 90 degrees by pulling out the cotter pins, swinging them out on both sides, which is going to allow the puck system to drop into the holes in the bed of the truck. Oot. We're going to want to take the cotter pins out of each of the crown nuts, make sure that you've got about an eighth of an inch of room on all four of them so that you can swing them in and close them up. With all four castle nuts loosened off and all four handles turned back in like this, you can then snug your castle nuts so that each of the handles are in position 
with the castle nuts roughly snug when it's closed. Your hitch is pretty in, or in pretty solid at this point. And before you tighten that up, you're going to want to tighten up these four bolts to secure the legs to the center part of the head. Once you've snugged these bolts up using your ratchet, you're going to want to get them properly torqued to 100 foot pounds. getting your cotter pins back into your crown nuts and getting those legs adjusted properly. So when you're finished getting your crown nuts back in place and you have your handles all finished and you spin them in, these pins pop through on either side and just lock in place to keep these handles from coming out while you're moving. And you can see this is very solidly installed. The last step of our installation is going to be putting the head back on, which is as simple as grabbing the head, dropping it in into position, putting your pin back in place. This is one of the things I really love about the Kurt hitch. Uh, my past hitches that I've worked with did not have a removable head. And this has made it so much easier to move the entire hitch around as one person when you can get rid of a lot of the weight just by pulling that head off. Next, we're going to hook up the trailer and I'm going to show you how easily and how well this hitch works when you're backing it up and hooking it up to the trailer. And then I'm going to show you how it actually performs while we're driving down the road. Another thing that I really like about this hitch is the way that it can rock around both forward and backward. And when we switched to this hitch, I found that the chucking on the trailer basically disappeared and the ride was much quieter. And on the old truck, when we still had the back window, I had no problem opening it up and I didn't get uh, noise coming through. It was, it was very nice to drive it like that. So another thing I really like about this hitch is the connection indicator, which you'll see right down in the middle of the screen at the bottom. It starts yellow when it's ready to connect and as you back up, you'll notice that it will click through to the green to show you that you're hooked up and you can see that from inside the truck. It makes it really handy and easy to see whether or not you're connected. It lets you go out and finish putting in pins and uh, cables and get ready to move. So this next part of the video is really for people who want to see how the hitch performs while driving. In the top right hand corner you'll see that I've mounted a second camera on the front bumper of the truck. This will show what the road looks like as we're driving. And in the main image you can see how the hitch is moving, uh, the way that it rocks back and forth and how quiet it is while I drive. I am using an orbital kingpin, so my rotation is happening at the trailer side rather than the hitch side. There's a little bit of movement from the wedge not being quite far enough forward, but in general you can see how well it moves around. This entire drive section takes until 13 minutes 30 seconds if you want to skip ahead. But uh, I will start by driving on some smaller roads and finish by pulling onto a piece of highway for a minute or two and uh, that'll give you a good idea of how it performs overall. I am pulling a Jayco 29.5 BHDS uh, 2018. 
uh, dry it's about 9,000 pounds and as loaded it's something in the 11.5 range something like that um, and uh, you'll notice that the new legs connected to the bed have zero movement uh, they're very tight very solid and all of the movement is happening just in the head So the good news is both phones and cameras were still attached to the truck. Really good news is, is one of those phones belonged to my wife so it's a really good thing for me. But give you an idea, that's how the, uh, the Kurt A16 hitch head and the OEM tuck style legs work in the uh, Ford F250. That's uh, any 250, 350 that has the puck system from 2011 and up and uh, I know some of the other brands have them as well I'm really really happy with the hitch and uh, I will be doing more videos with different mods that I will be doing to the truck if there's anything else you'd like to see if you have any comments on this video please feel free below please subscribe to my channel I will be adding new videos as uh, the weeks pass and if you've got any requests anything that you would like to see please just let me know I'll be happy to do it thanks for watching